wanting to find out more information about the types of queries that are being used to find your website, well, connecting HubSpot and Google Search Console may be the answer. In this video, I'll show you how to do just that. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So Google Search Console is a powerful tool to not only help you understand how your site's being indexed, any errors that might come up, but it really does a lot to help you understand how people are getting there from an organic traffic perspective. You used to have to have HubSpot open and Google Search Console and kind of bounce back and forth, but now you can actually set up to integrate the two and you can see all of that data in the SEO area right inside of HubSpot. So right here, we're actually gonna be under the marketing tab. You're gonna click on at this time, website and then SEO, and then you're gonna click on this analyze tab. So if Google Search Console is not set up for you inside of HubSpot, it'll show just like this, like you wanna get started. Now first, you'll actually need to have a Google Search Console account. So if you don't have this set up yet for your domain, and I would encourage you if you haven't done this yet, set this up at the domain level, which means that in the past, you used to have to set up the HTTPS, HTTP, the www, and the non www. You had four different setups. Now you just have one, it's called a domain level property inside of Google Search Console. If you don't know how to do that, we'll put some links below this video that will guide you over to the Google Search Console help area. So we're gonna assume that you actually have this set up because I do in this video. We're gonna click on get started. And when that does that, it's actually gonna bring you to this installation of the app in the marketplace. Click on install app. And then it's actually gonna walk you through the permissions that you need to make this possible inside of your HubSpot account. So click on continue. It's gonna ask for your permissions here. We're gonna click on allow, and then that integration is live. So it's gonna take you back here to where all the integrations are. You're gonna scroll down to Google Search Console, and you're gonna click on settings. So once you go to these settings, you're gonna see these are all of the, the domains that are currently set up in GSC. And as I mentioned before, we set up ones before where we had very specific uh, setups because they were subdomains. Now with this domain level property, we can just click on adding the master one here under add. We're gonna click on domain level property, and add. All right, so we've got the property here, the property type, and we've got our property status is verified. So when we go back to that marketing and SEO area, we'll click on website, SEO, and then analyze. And now you can see that it's set up and it's gonna take a while for us to actually build the data inside of HubSpot now that the two properties are linked. So let's give it a little bit of time. This says it take a few hours, but I'm gonna pause this and I'll come back to show you what it's like once things are live. All right, so now our data has synced. Let's take a look at what this looks like right inside of HubSpot. So here we've got our SEO recommendations. And again, I'm on this Analyze tab. And by default, we're looking at, it looks like the last two months of data here inside of our Google Search Console displayed inside of HubSpot. And again, if you toggle this down, you'll see that if you do have other domain properties in here, you can switch back and forth between those. We can change the time period if we want to, but the top level information as far as how many pages, how many total impressions in the last 60 days, um, we've got total clicks. Again, the information you would normally see inside of Google Search Console right here inside of HubSpot. So if we go down a little bit further, you'll see the pages that you're having on your website and then how many impressions, how many clicks. If you actually look into one of those pages, so for instance, we have a blog called Five Simple Ways to Add Live Chat to your website. If I click into this data here, you'll see that the impressions are showing me a performance over the last uh, couple weeks here. And then these are the search queries that I was talking about earlier, where you can see what search queries are actually bringing people to our website to this specific article. So if I sift and sort by position, you can see, and I'm gonna toggle this way, that we look like we're in number uh, one position for chat option uh, in website, chatbot example. And um, if I'm gonna look at actually click-through rate, I wanna look at no total number of uh, clicks here. So our click-through rate for live chat function for a website, when somebody searches that, they're much more likely to come to this blog post. Again, all of this information from an SEO standpoint gives you all of that ammo and insight that you need to have a strong, robust content strategy. So that's it. That's how to integrate Google Search Console with your HubSpot portal. And again, bring those insights right into an area that you can use to build your marketing strategy. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next week.